I'm not in the kitchen. Why do people get married, huh? <laughs> oh, I nearly said it good. Then we can eat it afterwards. you are all well and hello to all my new subscribers a lot of you have recently subscribed and I just want to say thank you so much for subscribing I hope you enjoy my videos I do all sorts of videos I do cook with me's I do vlogs of course I do routine videos I'm hoping to do a lot more different kind of videos I have a lot of ideas so thank you for subscribe subscribing and you'll notice I say subscribe instead of subscribe yeah thank you for subscribing it means a lot to me and hopefully you enjoy my videos so today's video is a cook with me video even though I'm sitting here I'm not in the kitchen I'm sitting down but yeah it's not instead of cooking dinner I'm actually cooking a dessert today I've never actually done that on my channel yet I haven't cooked anything sweet on my channel yet so this will be the first time I'm cooking something sweet usually I just show you what I'm cooking for dinner and give you the recipe today's video is in collaboration with my sister yeah she's my real sister my younger sister she's like the middle girl she's the middle child <laughs> she hates it when i say that let me not say that but yeah she's the middle child middle oh i nearly said it good um younger than me basically but she's not the youngest youngest in the family there's a younger sister after her anyways what am i going into but yeah this is in collaboration with my sister her youtube name is acer a-i-s-r so a little bit about my sister my sister has recently just started up her youtube channel she does mendy videos in there she shows you how she makes her homemade mendy which she sells by the way she's also got an etsy shop so i'll leave her etsy shop down below as well as her as well as her instagram youtube and all that stuff yeah so she does mendy videos she does um how to make mendy she also did a silent vlog once and she's planning on doing more um she does a lot of cook with me videos videos she does so many different videos she has got a lot of more ideas and plans for her youtube channel so go and subscribe to her if you haven't already make sure you go over to her channel and check out all her videos and check out her video that she's gonna do in collaboration with me today our idea was we both thought because we wanted to do a collaboration and i was like what should we do and we had so many different ideas and then finally we came up oh, let's do a dessert because then we can eat it afterwards and it's just be the best thing ever so why not let's do a dessert we're gonna cook the same sort of dessert but different so we are using similar ingredients if not all the same ingredients but i think she's using a bit more ingredients than i am I'm just you lot probably just thinking what is this girl talking about but we're using we're met okay Shh. We are both making a mango dessert, but different mango desserts, okay? Yeah, that's better. Yeah, we're both making a mango dessert. Um, and yeah, so I've got my recipe here. I'm going to show you what you need for my recipe. This recipe that I'm making, I cannot take credit for, is actually a recipe that a family friend made once during Ramadan and uh, brought it over to my mum and dad's house and we absolutely loved that recipe and I messaged her and I was like please give me this recipe this was a while ago I was like please give me this recipe it's so nice and yeah she happily gave me the recipe and since then I've been made it so much so as I said my sister is also making a mango dessert but it's not the same it's something totally different from what I'm making even though it's a mango dessert <laughs> the ingredients you're gonna need is a Madeira cake Madeira, any tropical juice will do. I got this one. Mango pulp, because obviously it's a mango dessert. You need custard. You're gonna need 500 mils of double cream. Mixed fruit, so just get one of these fruit cocktail cans. Some 12 bites or anything. You don't need to use this at the end. You can have strawberries, you can have, um, other pieces of chocolate you can use sprinkles whatever you like but i'm going to use 12 bites at the end and you'll see what i mean at the end that's the ingredients you're going to need so let's get started with the recipe i need to go and get the dish first <laughs> so the first thing you want to do is get your madeira cake okay this is my favorite cake in the whole world but yeah you want to slice it into 
equal slices so not too thick and not too thin so I'll probably do it like that much I hope this is enough I actually bought two cakes but the lovely Sharky decided to eat one like he started eat, he ate half one day and he ate half the other day and I was like excuse me that was for my dessert okay but it's fine anyway so I cut in equal sizes I'm gonna get you a dish and then you're gonna lay out your cake just like that I actually don't think this is gonna be enough because I'll shark it like literally I don't actually think this is gonna be enough he's so annoying I'm gonna have to get a smaller dish it's so it's breaking in pieces by the way but it's fine like it's fine oh my gosh this is not going to be enough literally he's like got me so angry why did he eat my cake <laughs> i'm gonna have to get a smaller dish i think i'm just gonna have to go get the overall dish literally it's not enough two cakes would have been enough he's so annoying why did he do that Okay, hey, I'm just going to change. Oh my gosh, I have to wash this dish as well because we've just used it. It's so annoying. I'll be back. I have to wash that dish because we was that was in use. So annoying. I mean, why do people get married, huh? Why? Because your husband's going to eat the cake that you need to make a dessert with. Anyways, that's what it looks like. So that's the cake in there. So the next step, get your fruit juice and you want to soak the cake you don't want to drown it you just want to pour enough that it's like soggy do you know what i mean so don't like pour like loads of it just needs to be soggy basically like the cake just needs to soak up the juice so give your juicy a shake open your juicy pour it on I should have used a glass. <laughs> it's not going right. Man, I'm trying to make like one of those, you know, YouTube videos that just look like professional, but I've even, I've even got like a professional set up, the ring light and everything. And it's just, look, look at this. Where is my life? Seriously, <laughs> come on. I just want to make a perfect cake. All right, that's all I need. Oh my day, seriously. Seriously. Oh, that's what I should have done. Okay. So you want to try not to spill the juice as much as I did, okay? You really don't want to. It's not like drowning in juice. It just I just poured enough to just soak the cake. So I'm going to go and put that in the fridge now. And then I'm going to come back and get the rest of the ingredients ready. Now we're going to prepare our... The next ingredient so first what you do is whip up um your double cream in a bowl and you're going to whip it up till it's thick and fluffy so you need 500 ml um so one i mean that's fine so there's my cream um that's me trying to pour some back into it yeah you just need 500 ml of the double cream you're just going to whisk it till it's thick and fluffy okay so the cream should look like this like really thick okay so how cream should be really thick so yeah pulp into there and you also want to put your custard into there so I'm going to put my mango into there first put, pull that all into there Woo! put your custard into there it should look like that okay so then you should check it if it's got if you need sugar so i'm just going to check it 
I mean, you can leave it like that. You don't have to add sugar. I am going to add sugar. But this says coffee, but it's got caster sugar in it. So I'm going to use caster sugar because I just prefer caster sugars with desserts. I'm going to put in one tablespoon and then I'm going to put in a half. Check that. Mm, that's perfect. That's perfect. Oh my gosh, that's so nice. It does look like a lot of sugar, but if you do like it sweet, I would put in that much sugar. But obviously, if you want to put sugar in it, but you don't want to put that much, put in a little bit at a time, and then you can see if you want more, if you want less, or if you don't want any. I do prefer it with sugar. So yeah, that's the mango dough. So next thing, you're going to get your mixed fruit. I've emptied it out already and taken the syrup out. And then you're going to put that into the mix okay and then you're gonna get your spoon and then you're gonna just um mix the fruit in you're not gonna blend this one because you don't want the fruit all blended up you want to just leave it how it is so that's done so now i'm gonna go and get my cake out of the fridge and then i'm gonna show you what you need to do next so i've got my cake out of the fridge now and literally all you need to do is just pour the mango mixture into there so that's what i'm gonna do Oh, see what I'm doing. Okay guys, so that's done. I have a lot of mixture left. I never have mixture left. Only because I had to use a smaller dish because Shaka at the second Madeira cake. So I only use one Madeira cake where I usually use two Madeira cakes. I had to use a smaller dish and which meant that some of the mango is left over which is fine i'm going to stick this in the fridge and or i'm going to see if my mum wants to use it for a dessert or something and then send that so guys i gave the extra mango mix to my mum and she actually made a dessert out of it so if you want to see what dessert she made out of the extra mango mix go over to her channel and check it out she will be uploading the same time as me and my sister and i'll leave her links down below as well so definitely go and check that out but yeah that's the mango dessert done now what you want to do is you want to stick this in the fridge for minimum an hour so not less than an hour so stick it in the fridge so if you're making this for a party or something you want to make this you can make it in the morning right because the longer you leave it in the fridge the better like the longer you leave it to set the better the nicer it would be so minimum an hour stick it in the fridge and just let it set once you want to um serve it to everybody or you want to take it to the party or whatever when you take it out after an hour or however long even if you make it in the morning and take it out in the evening that's when you want to stick on whatever you want to stick on on the top you can put strawberries you can put chocolate obviously i'm going to use chocolate i'm just going to put these cover it in these you can use last time i used chocolate buttons you can use um sprinkles if you wanted to put on top of there you could even use peach that would be nice whatever you want to put on top you can put on top so yeah i'm gonna go stick that in the fridge now to set for one hour and then yeah i'll show you what it looks like i'll come back and show you what it looks like in an hour and all that um yeah so i left this in the fridge for about two and a half hours and that's set now so i'm gonna add these on top that's done and ready to eat so let me just go get a plate and try it so i'm just going to try it really nice Anyways guys, that's the end of the video. Hopefully you enjoyed watching me make my favourite dessert in the whole wide world. There was a few hiccups along the way. Shark is for, okay. But it's fine. 
it turned out nice it tastes so nice like I definitely recommend you all trying this recipe especially if you like a mango dessert um, head over to my sister's channel now and check out what she made don't forget to subscribe to her and if you're not subscribed to me make sure you subscribe to me and yeah all my sister's links will be down below her youtube channel um the link for this video her instagram page and her etsy shop for because she sells um homemade mendy cone which she makes herself and if you want to see how she makes the mendy she's got a video up on her channel on how she makes it but yeah hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching and i will see you on the next video bye